What's up guys? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Kara Corey here. And for today's video, I'm going to do a vlog, but I'm also going to incorporate a full day of eating for you guys because you guys love them and I love food and sharing what I ate with you and talking about food. It just so happens to be one of my favorite things to do. If you guys are interested in this video, be sure to hit the like button. That actually does really help the channel. It helps make the videos more shareable when you guys thumbs it up. Make sure you are subscribed and also hit the post notification bell. That way you guys do not miss each and every time I upload. But just so you know, if you are new here, I do post two times a week. So you can count on me for regular uploads. So I actually already worked out this morning. I woke up and I just felt a little bit low energy. So I already went ahead and ate an outright bar. This is the sunflower seed butter chocolate chip. This is my favorite flavor. I've shown it here a ton of times. These you can get at tigerfitness.com. But I had already went ham on one of these before I decided I was gonna do a full day of eating. But that's already in my fitness pal. So I will go ahead and track for the day and share with you guys my macros and kind of how I end up at the end of the day. For you guys to know as well, I'm paying attention to what I'm eating, but I'm not really tracking on the regular. I'm not following set macros or anything like that. I'm more of doing an intuitive eating approach. But for these videos, I do like to share with you guys kind of the meals I make and what the macros are just to help give you guys some ideas. I do try to be purposeful with meal planning in terms of like balancing things out and finding those right combinations of protein, carbs, and fats that fill me up. But the Outright Bar is always kind of like a quick go-to when I need something quick for fuel and I'm feeling either lazy or just don't have the time, that's perfect. So I love having those on hand. So that was my first uh, meal of the day and I'm just drinking some Branch Chains in Natural Light because I'm thirsty. And we are curling our hair right now. Washed my hair yesterday. This is like squeaky pee. This is the um, Pricey T3 curling iron, which I don't, I don't think this is required. I don't think you need this. I actually prefer hot duels. Dirty hair. We're just throwing a little curl in my hair. I'm going to throw some makeup on and then probably eat lunch. And then Jason and I are gonna get outside. It's super beautiful here. So we're gonna go get some photos for the Hint of Summer Buff Bunny collection launch that's coming up June 6th. So I'll have that launch um, reviewed for you guys in a separate video. For those of you that wanna know my hair tips, I don't really have any other than I do spray in some heat defense in my hair to hopefully not kill it. And I take this wand and throw some curl in there. Usually some dry shampoo. I have very fine hair. It will not hold volume for the life of me. I wish it would. That's why you'll frequently see me zhuzhing it like so. But the best I can get is kind of a loose wave in my hair. It's really it for me and my hair tips. Not to be revealing, but I have a very nice tan still going on. My legs look nice and tan, chest looks nice and tan. I never tan my face, but you guys did not watch my vlog from last week. In my vlog, I showed you my self-tanning routine, my flawless routine, what I use, how I go about it, and girl, it lasted a full week, so I think I did a pretty good job. That chest is looking nice and tan still, so I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Hopefully you guys found that helpful. Guys on the channel, I know you're not into self-tanning, so you can pass right through there. We are trying to add in some timestamps if you guys like to hop around in the videos a bit more, so comment below if you like the addition of the timestamps. Quite literally 17 hours later, and I am full glam up here, fake eyelashes, the whole meal deal. Not because I love so much makeup, but it looks better for photos, and Jay and I are gonna go out and get some photos. It's a beautiful day. I'm wearing some of the new pieces from Buff Bunny Collection, so we're gonna go out and get some content, get some photos, do a little outdoor workout, and see how things hold up and feel. But first, I'm gonna grab some lunch. All right guys, I'm about to have lunch and I was gonna make up a big salad because I have some salad stuff, but I think I'm gonna wait and do that after we get photos, just in the event I get a little bloated. This might bloat me anyways, but I don't know. I'm never gonna starve myself for 
doing photos for the Instagram or doing a try on haul video. Quite honestly, half of the time I eat a giant meal before I do these videos, you know? Um, I just don't think it's a healthy mindset to be starving yourself. Now, can you be mindful of your choices, what you choose to eat right before a photo shoot, right before a try on haul? Sure, but um, I don't know. I just wanna throw that out there because it's just that mindset that I think is so important to have. Lunch I'm pretty freaking excited for. I had picked up from Trader Joe's this week um, some Japanese sweet potatoes, which I haven't had in a really long time. I like sweet potatoes, but I like have to be in the mood for them. Whereas a Japanese sweet potato, it's just got like a nuttier, less sweet flavor to it. I cooked these in the air fryer. I did like one medium potato, little avocado oil, and cooked that in the air fryer and then threw some pink Himalayan sea salt on there. And then I already had cooked from the air fryer as well some organic beef from Wegmans. It's like a 93.7 with some sugar-free ketchup on it. And then some fruit we already had cut up in the fridge, just some pineapple and watermelon. So great little meal right here. I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna take off. All right guys, we made it to my old stomping grounds. We're up at Syracuse University. We're gonna go up and get some photos kinda around campus is the hope. And it may rain out, but I really hope it passes over us. Got a little, little cold brew coffee with me just for a little afternoon pick me up. It's a ghost town up here. This is where like all the fraternity sorority houses were. And then we're gonna head up through here onto campus. Say hi to the people, Jai. What's up, guys? What's up, people? What's up, people? I'm gonna grab my bag, put all my goods in it, and I'm hoping we can find somewhere that I can take a little, a little poop. whiz. No. Whiz Khalif. <laughs> I wish I could poop. Is that what you said? <laughs> a whiz Khalif. Hoping that that angry sky just passes right by us. But this is where I completed my bachelor's and my master's degree, you guys. In case you happen to care. It's raining out. We're hanging out under the overhang. Hoping it passes by. 3.15, it says 4 o'clock, 0% chance of rain. But then 5 o'clock says 30% chance of rain. Hmm. So I'd say we just hang out, I guess, a little bit. Yeah. Somebody's pouting because he wants dinner or attention. He's not getting either right now. Lisa and I got back. I'd say we did a successful content shoot, wouldn't you, Jay? I would. We killed it. I mean, we had to- Despite a, the rainstorm. We had to take a little tea, a little break, a little time out while it rained. And then we kind of got out, did what we could, and then it rained again, but we were heading out just in time. I am ravenous. So I'm gonna make a big dinner. I've got here a beautiful piece of wild Alaskan salmon. Just look at that color, it's perfect. This is like three quarters of a, three quarters of a pound? A third of a pound? Is that right? Something like that. And I season that with my favorite thing for, for seafood or fish. This is the Spice Beast, the Big Buzz Coffee Rub. I really, really love this on top of seafood. So that's good. So I've got this, it's gonna go in the air fryer. And then we've also got over here some Argentinian, Argentinian shrimps from Trader Joe's. They're just kinda rinsing off, soaking off on this paper towel here, but they're already thawed. So those aren't gonna go in the air fryer too long, just like six minutes. Salmon will probably need a little bit longer. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna make up my sides. I am pretty excited for this dinner. Jason, Bruce, and Steve are having some fun behind me, but a nice big portion of protein here. I've got the salmon, I've got some shrimps, and then I made up a big green salad with green bell pepper, mini cucumbers, carrots, and then just a few Kalamata, Kalamata olives just to add a little bit of saltiness in there. Mm, love olives. And then I'm gonna dress it with this Newman's Own Raspberry Walnut Vinaigrette. I do typically like use vinaigrettes when it comes to salad dressing. Um, I hate, woof. I hate fat-free dressings. I like to go with an oil-based vinaigrette. It gives you that heart-healthy fat and fat-free dressings taste like so. I avoid those at all costs. Nice big salad I'm excited about. And yes, I do like to drink a diet soda. Come at me if you want, but I enjoy it. And you're not gonna stop me from drinking it. I know people like to say that some research shows diet soda makes people hungrier or eat more. I have 
never found that to be the case. The carbonation fills me up, uh, makes me feel more satisfied. So I do tend to en enjoy a diet soaking up in the evening time. But I think that's all I have to say about my meal. I'm gonna enter into my fitness pal, see where I'm at. I might want some more like starchy carbs with this. Ooh, yeah, I am gonna have starchy carbs. I'm gonna grab one of these bad boys. Fun fact for you guys, um, when Jason and I first started dating, how many years ago? 21. 21. Uh, we used to go to movies together and we'd head over to what was then called the PNC, now taken over by Tops, but we'd go get snacks for the movie. And one of my favorite snacks to get for our movies was a bag of dinner rolls. <laughs> so yeah, you would think I was 15 years old, you know, people, I don't know. You would think being a young female, I would have been concerned with eating a bag of rolls <laughs> as my snack. I have always loved carbs. They are my favorite. I shall eat a dinner roll. I love dinner rolls. There's something about dinner rolls that tastes so good to me. And I don't need butter or anything on them. They're just delightful. So Wegmans had these multi-grain. These are actually meant to do like little sliders with, but I'm gonna just have one of these as well with my salad. I'm pretty sure no one can relate to that little story, but if anybody else enjoys eating dinner rolls as much as me, then let me know. I think I would honestly rather eat dinner rolls, especially like sweet Hawaiian rolls. I'd rather eat that over dessert. Like, give me, give me a big roll. I'll take that over cakes or cookies or donuts. I'm being dead honest. Ooh, I like sandwiches so much. I know this is a full day of eating vlog video, but I wouldn't feel it's appropriate to post without saying something about what's happened in recent events um, with George Floyd. Rest in peace. I am at a loss of words. Um, I haven't felt like I've even known what to say on social media. And in, uh, in total transparency, there was a part of me that felt like, who am I to say anything? I'm a privileged little white girl, but I am the exact person that should be saying something and doing something and speaking out towards it. And, and I mean, I've been putting up just kind of like a few little tidbits on my stories, just like more reposts from other people because I don't feel like I have something to articulate, but I'm seeing some amazing posts, just really educational. One of the things I just posted tonight said, it is not enough to be quietly non-racist. Now is the time to be vocally anti-racist. And I think that's really important. It's, it's not about just, you can't just be quiet. You can't be quiet right now. We have to have a voice for black lives and we have to, we have to do something about this. And it, it's some of the stuff I was reading online, people sharing what they've been going through, what they've gone through. And I know Will Smith made a post like there isn't more racism in 2020. It's just it's being filmed now and it's being brought to life and we're seeing it in the media, which I maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing to wake us, wake us the f up and do something. And I know there's more education I need to do on my end. Um, to be more active in terms of this. Um, just a quick story time. It kind of brings me back to when I was still in college, I was like looking for courses to take. I was kind of running out of courses in my master's degree. And so I took a class in the social work department. It was a master's level class for cultural competence with uh, counseling. So I thought that was very perfect because I had always taken stuff in the nutrition world. Mind you, nutrition and dietetics is predominantly white females. We lack so much diversity in general. So I took this course and it was way out of my comfort zone and it taught me so much. The professor was incredible. He really opened my eyes to the privilege. It was as if I didn't have an understanding and I'll be I'll admit that I didn't have an understanding of the privilege I was born into until I was in college and took this class. It was eye opening in a lot of ways. Um, to not realize it and it, he kind of pushed me out of my comfort zone with 
being active to speak up when you hear people saying things that shouldn't be said and that are part of the problem, even though people don't think they are. And I remember starting to do that and I remember it felt very uncomfortable and I remember I felt challenged by people when I would try to speak up and I know I can be better. I know I can do better in that regard and and I don't know what the answer is and I, you know, I, I always fear speaking up on it at the sounds of saying something wrong. That's the last thing I want to do is say something wrong make anything worse but not speaking up is is just as bad I guess so I just wanted to mention this there there are um, we'll put a link down below in the description box for ways that you can there's petitions you can sign right now there's things you can do right now resources to help better educate yourself and just a reminder not only to you guys but to me but um, this can't stop once, once George Floyd's life or death, I should say, and everything surrounding it isn't trending on social media anymore. It can't stop. We have to keep working towards a better world that we're living in. It's, it's really sad. It's, I, I can't, I can't imagine being in the shoes of someone who has to worry of getting pulled over if someone is going to take their life because they're black or if you approach someone as a that they're gonna there was a woman recently in New York that was threatening to call the cops and was basically telling this man that he would have something done to him because he was black and thankfully she got fired but it's just the craziest to me that this happens still which also tells me i live in a bubble right if i feel like if i'm ignorant to the fact that it's not still happening so um and i'm open to your suggestions too if you have resources that are are good reads are educational um to help keep bettering myself i'm open to that as well i think i think it just i i needed to talk about it i needed to to bring it to have this platform and not talk about it. I just didn't feel right about it. So I just wanted to mention that. And yeah, if you guys are not on the same team as me in regards to racism still being so prevalent right now in 2020, then we probably wouldn't jive in real life. We probably would not. So um, yeah, I, I don't know what more to say, but um, I just needed to bring that up and we'll leave some links below uh, for resources you guys can check out. Hey guys, it is the next day actually. I did conclude my full day of eating with what you saw for my last meal. Um, I normally would have ate probably another snack or smaller meal before bed, but I honestly just wasn't hungry. Like my stomach kind of hurt. I just wasn't feeling awesome. So that was my full day of eating for you guys. So I do hope you enjoyed what I shared with the food and the macros. And again, it's just one snapshot one day of meals that I ate. And for me personally, I mean, with not really trying to track, I mean, I tracked macros for you guys, but with not trying to follow set goals each and every day, being more intuitive, that's just kind of the nature of it. Things are gonna go up and down and because that's just how your body is based on whatever it is you're responding to. So um, just wanted to mention that. And then I thought I would share with you guys my workout from today so we could get something fitnessy up in here too. Um, if you guys are enjoying these home workouts, let me know. I'll be sure to keep including them for you. Today turned into a back and bicep day. I was gonna do full body and then I was just really like juiced up to do my back. So it's one of my stronger body parts. Um, but before I hopped into my workout, I did start with an ab warm up. Um, usually I use like a 10 pound weight, nothing crazy, but I do like to throw a little weight into my core movements and I try to go straight through until I fatigue and feel like I can't do anymore. But I try to basically rest as little as possible with my core and abs. And I usually just time it and try to get through 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes I just do two exercises. Sometimes I do five to six. It really just depends on what I'm in the mood for, but I do find switching it up um, makes it nice. Uh, I do like to focus a bit more on my lower core and just working on like some planks and stuff like that. I totally never work on those when I was still in the gym. Now that I'm at home, I'm reminded of 
just simple movements like that that are so good for your body. So I did that as well. And then moving, um, oh, one more thing with core, I've been trying to do vacuums. You will see my sad attempt at it, although that really may be my best attempt. I think I just really need to improve. I'm not an expert. Don't ask me for tips. I'm working on it. So I do try to do those. When I think of it, I, ideally I'd like to do um, a couple you know two to three times a week so that's what i've been striving for usually just like two to three times i don't know if that's enough or effective it's just what i've been doing um and for my back workout i started with pull-ups that's what's really nice about our squat rack is that it has that pull-up situation on there i just have to be mindful of not banging my head on our ceiling um so i started uh with a neutral grip and then i did some off camera with a normal overhand grip which is much harder for me i can't get as many of those but working on it nonetheless and then i did i guess you call it just a trap bar deadlift i really like using the trap bar for deadlifts i just feel like it keeps my form in check um the trap bar itself is pretty heavy and i really ha only added the 10 pounds on each side in addition to the trap bar because um I'm still working on my strength you guys we're building it back up and that felt good for me so I've been focusing more on what feels good going a bit higher rep and if I'm not careful and I just slap on too heavy of weights sometimes I do feel it in my knee which we're trying to avoid so um, after that I moved into barbell rows I did a couple different grips on barbell row I did an overhand grip which I can go much heavier on underhand grip which engages the bicep a bit more I'm lacking for sure it feels awkward for me so that's exactly why I did it I need to focus more on some of those movements that aren't as natural for me um, and something as simple as just switching your hand placement really does make a difference in the muscles you're engaging. So we did that and then moved into a, bat lamp, a band lat pull down. This is the first time I did it this way where I just connected it on the uh, squat rack and then I just, I stood up and pulled down and now you can change resistance on this either by your hand placement or how you're standing. Like I moved back a little bit further to make it a little bit more difficult, but then again, where you place your hands on the band will dictate the resistance there, but definitely missing. I am missing that from the gym, getting in there and doing my lat pull downs. It was one of my strongest movements I feel like so doing it with a band is great I just really try to feel the squeeze hold it a bit longer um, but I do definitely miss the gym for that movement uh, I did quite a bit today now reviewing it all I also did a, um, a banded cable seated row I think I switched up I think I did that um, before the lat pull down actually. I did a seated cable row essentially using a band and then our dog toy rope works great. So I did those two, again, really holding the squeeze on those, really engaging it. Um, and then I moved into some dumbbell movements, just a couple, I did a single arm dumbbell row and then I did two sets of those and then I moved into just doing um, I guess a double row, <laughs> just both hands at the same time, just making sure your form is good there. I usually do a little bit less with the weights when I'm doing both arms at the same time. And then I just wanted to hit biceps a little bit before I finished up my workout. So I went ahead using our Bowflex dumbbells. I did 15s. These are a little awkward for me for dumbbell curls because of how long the Bowflex dumbbells, dumbbells are, but still a good movement nonetheless. So I did single arm curls on those, doing a little bit of those, moving into a hammer curl, and then finished off with just a couple sets um, using our barbell, which is 45 pounds, but feels so much heavier I think because it seems like it's a longer bar but I moved into a couple sets of those which you will notice I essentially have to cheat rep I have to cheat it up and then I tried to really go slow all the way down to engage my biceps so that was my workout from today the full day of eating you guys kind of got to follow us around a little bit with some of the behind the scenes buff bunny footage and yeah, I appreciate all of you. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Um, be sure to comment below and 
Thank you so much for being here, you guys. I know you guys support me each and every day on this channel, on social media. If there's something I can do to support you back, please let me know. This is our community here. It's a safe community, so feel free to comment below. And that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. The next upload is going to be the review of the Buff Bunny collection pieces that are dropping. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Hit the post notification bell. And if not, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.